And today I'll share with you the difference between percussion massages and vibration massages. Now that's very important because one is easy to use, safe and does a great job, and the other, maybe not. Now the simplest way to explain the difference between percussion and vibration massage is to show you these two machines. The yellow one's a compactor that sends vibrations deep into the ground. Now vibration massages work like that. The blue one of course is a jackhammer. It uses vibrations to drive the head in. That's what percussion massage does. Now both vibrate, but they have completely different actions and effects. So, which works the best? Now if we look at vibration massage first, vibration has a host of scientifically proven effects. Now I've got them listed here, but if you want to Google vibration massage, the number one recommendation should be the guide I wrote, the scientifically proven effect of vibration massage with clinical applications. Now before I did this video, I wasn't aware of any scientific research or evidence supporting percussion so I did a search on the manufacturer's websites and others claiming benefits for percussion and massage. In every case where they referred to scientific research for support, the research they used was on vibrations. As I said, they both use vibrations, but percussion massages use those vibrations to drive in the head. It's like jackhammer makers using scientific papers about soil compaction. It's very wrong, it's misleading, and they shouldn't be doing it. Now, long story short, if there is any scientific justification for the use of percussion massages, I couldn't find it. Now, next we'll look at penetration. Now, a lot of websites make the claim that by driving the heads in, they get 60% more penetration. Now, that has to be wrong, so I looked around to see if it originated from any scientific source. Now, what I found was Theragun's website claiming that their very expensive percussion massager penetrates 60% more than consumer-grade vibration massages. That might be true, but consumer-grade massages are typically poorly designed and underpowered, so penetrating 60% better than them is not relevant and certainly not something to write home about. So let's look at the real facts about penetration. Now, fundamental physics says that vibrations will always out-penetrate physical penetration by a long way. That's why ultrasound can take images inside your body without any physical penetration. Now, I like to have proper scientific data for everything I tell you, so I found a really interesting paper on vibration used in the construction industry. Now, it covered using pile drivers, which are those things that drop the heavy weights on top of the piles and drive them into the ground. Now, each time the weight drops from the pile, it drives in a few centimetres, but the vibrations travel from 18 to 247 metres. So, it's no contest between a percussion massager and a decent vibration massager. The percussion massager might drive its head in a bit, but a good vibration massager will send vibrations clear through your body. Now, lastly, it should be pretty obvious which is the safest. Now, this always a risk of doing some damage if you're physically driving the head in, especially if you don't know what you're doing and you aim it at nerves, blood vessels or injured tissues. So vibration massages are the way to go, but how do you tell them apart? Now it's a bit of crossover between the two, but here's the things you should look for. Now the first is the amplitude of the head movement, which is the amount the head goes up and down. The ideal for vibration massage is about 3 to 5 millimetres. Any less than that and it just tingles the skin. And more than that it either drives the head in or the head bounces up and down. Now Theragun advertised an amplitude of 16 millimetres which makes it clearly a percussion massager. Now if we go back to our jackhammer versus compactor, if the jackhammer head goes up and down 16 mils, that's good. But if the compactor's base went up and down 16 mm, it would just bounce up and down uncontrollably. Now the next thing we look at is the shape of the heads. Now the heads designed for vibration transfer are fairly flat, whereas jackhammers have heads shaped for penetration. Now I mentioned percussion and vibration massages. There's a third category. There again referred to them as consumer massages. Now I'll call them machines that look like massages. Now with massage guns becoming a fad, there's thousands of them. They're underpowered, poorly designed and poorly built. 
These are not strong enough to be considered a proper percussion massager and certainly don't send vibrations right through like a good vibration massager. They usually have a heap of stupid looking heads that you poke in like you're doing manual massage. Now, if you want to know more about vibration massage, I'll link our video about the scientific effects of the finish. Now we make an excellent personal use vibration massage. It's easy to use and if you put it on, you feel the vibrations go right through you. Now, as I said before, Google should have our guide to vibration massage as their number one recommendation. You can also check out our website. And if you're a professional wanting to find out more about this therapy, we've got a special practitioner section. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, please send me an email or leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you very much for watching. It's most appreciated.